What's up, y'all? First off, thank you for those of you that read the newsletter that I throw out each and every week. I can't thank you guys enough for your support, and I appreciate the kind words that you guys send back to me so often. This was supposed to be one of the newsletters. It will be one of the newsletters, but I'm going to deliver it to you in video form this week because as I sat down to type out what it was that I had in my mind to give you guys this week, I realized that um, I couldn't come up with the words to type out, but I knew that I could communicate it to you guys via a video, and so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So what I wanted to start off with is talking about why do we find life, and a huge overarching term, like why do we find life so frustrating? Why do we find it so difficult? Why do we find it so challenging? Now you can either think of life as this big thing, everything it is that entails life, or you can go ahead and start narrowing it down and thinking about the pursuit of a goal, the achievement of something, something that you want, a change that you want to make in yourself or any other kind of thing. Basically a journey towards something. Like why do we find that so frustrating and so difficult? So the answer to that because we have this kind of feeling like it's hard, but what's the answer? Because there's two things at play here. So the first thing at play in life, for the most part, is this thing that I would call skill. So we have read books, we've watched videos, we've experienced things, we've tried things out. And so therefore, we've come up with these kind of formulas, we've come up with these procedures, we've come up with these standards, and they're essentially skills, like a formula where two plus two is going to equal four. So when we do two plus two, we know the answer that we are going to get. And if we do two plus two today, we get four. And if we do it again tomorrow, we get four, so on and so forth. So the first aspect of life is this part called skill, which we very much so like because there's a predictable outcome. When we do these things, then this happens. This is a result. And it's very linear and it sits well with us, right? And we like those kinds of things. However, that's not all of life. There's another part of life and it's kind of out here. We kind of can't really touch it, but we can surely feel it. It's called luck or chance. And we don't have anything to do with it. We can't create it. We can't make it go away. It happens sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't happen. And so when we look at life and we've got skill on one hand and we've got luck and chance on the other hand, and both of these things come together, folks, the truth be told, we don't know what we're going to get. We then become uncertain about, okay, I've got my formula that I know will do this by itself, but it's not operating by itself anymore. Now we throw in this whole other thing called luck, serendipity, chance, fortune, whatever you want to call it. And when both of them come together, chance and luck sometimes has a way of changing this formula so that it doesn't work. And that's when things get frustrating for us. That's when things get extremely challenging for us because we go, wait a minute, but I was doing this. And this was the right answer, and this is what I know that I needed to do. But then this over here, this luck and chance came along and it just ruined everything. And now what do I do? Oftentimes we can get very frustrated down on life or again, think more narrow, the achievement of a goal, the pursuit of something, because we ultimately, chance and luck can ruin our best made plans. And all of a sudden we're left with, we're left with nothing. At least that's what we like to think. And that's why it gets frustrating because we think to ourselves, if we do these things, then we, then we get that right. But I'm going to give you a very simple quote from Miguel Cervantes. 
And the quote from Cervantes is the following. The journey is the inn. The journey is the inn. Inn or hotel. Final destination. The place that we get to where we can rest and get a good night's sleep. The final stop. But he says, the journey is the inn. You see, when we become frustrated because we applied the skill and then luck or chance came and wrecked it and we didn't get what we wanted, we look at the fact that we didn't get to the end. We didn't get there. We didn't achieve what it was that we wanted to achieve. We don't have what it is that we wanted to have. But if we can stop for a second and if we can think about the fact that what did it, what did it take to get there? What was that journey like? What kind of process did I plug into? What kind of effort did I give? You see, then it doesn't become about actually whether or not I reach the end. That's not the point. The point is that journey in between. Because folks, here's the last thing that I'll say. If you give your absolute best, you couldn't have done anything else. In other words, that skill component that makes up life I mean, you exhausted that thing. You did the best you could. You brought the most knowledge. You plugged into a great process. You did everything you could to take care of that part right there. Recognize that you had no control over this luck or chance part. None whatsoever. So therefore, there was nothing you could have done to change the outcome of what it was that was going to happen. Because... And this is where it kind of really doesn't sit well with us. When we put together all of our skill and everything we know and everything we've studied and everything that people have told us. And when we put that together with this other mystical thing called luck or chance and both of those come together, we realize something, don't we? We don't really have a whole heck of a lot of control over what really happens, do we? We can think that we do, and that's part of the problem, is we think that we have more control than we do. We do have control over some things, like our effort level. All the time, we've got control over that. But some of the other things, like the two plus two equals four, that's not how it works in life. That's not how it works towards the pursuit of a goal or a dream. And that can frustrate us sometimes. So what we need to do is apply the quote. The journey is the end. The journey needs to be what we focus on being satisfied with. The journey needs to be what we make the central part of our everyday thing. If we get to the end, fantastic. We'll celebrate. If we don't get to the end, that's also okay. We'll figure out if there was something along that journey that we could have done differently. But sometimes that journey was as good as it was going to get. And something came from the outside and acted upon it and just kind of wrecked it, kind of broke the formula. And we're going to need to be okay with that outcome as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Um, again, you know, I appreciate you guys checking out the newsletter and reading it on a weekly basis. Uh, this is also being thrown up on my YouTube channel. So if you're watching it there, I would ask that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other videos that I throw out there. I throw out a, about a video once a week and share this content with somebody else. Share the channel, and what I've got on there. Go check out some of the other videos that are on the channel and let somebody else know what we're doing here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Appreciate all of you. Until next time.